Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kristen and I love to craft. Today we are going to be doing a paper mache advent calendar. This came from Hobby Lobby along with several other things in here. Um, I will try to list everything down below if I can. Um, some of these things I've had for quite some time, like this bag right here is a huge gallon size Ziploc bag and it has a bunch of just random Christmas things like peppermint ornaments, little jingle bells, gingerbread men, so many things. So for this box, we are not going to be doing tiny little trinkets or toys for the boys. We are going to be doing a Christmas bucket list. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just move some things out of the way and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here's the advent calendar and it has these little boxes that you can pull out like that. We are going to be using the Miss Mary Christmas paper pad. It came from Hobby Lobby. I believe it was either 50 or 40% off. All right, let's do a little flip through. I've used this paper pad a lot, so some of the pages are missing. I think this one is my favorite page on here. Just those cute little dogs taking a little nap. And this one is my favorite. It has that glitter foil on top. These boxes are two inches by two inches and I made just a little template that way that I could trace this onto the paper pad and I went ahead and cut out several of these that way that we could glue these to the front. I am going to be using hot glue but you can also use um, like glue dots or double sided tape anything like that but just to make this process a little bit quicker, we are going to be using hot glue. Okay, and this is what it looks like now with all of the boxes covered on the front. Some of them are a little bit short on the side, like for example, this one is a little bit short, but I did that because I was trying to use up a full sheet of that little paper pad. I have a bunch of things here that we are going to be gluing to the front. You may recognize some of these little things from our previous video. These little gingerbread men also came from Hobby Lobby. They didn't paint the little bow tie and so I ended up painting that one and it has adhesive on the back but we're still going to hot glue it down. And I don't want to do them directly, you know, just in the center. So I'm going to kind of move them around a little bit. And here is a cute little bottle brush tree. Those are just so cute. And then we have a bow here. I'm going to cut off the back of it though. That way it could lay flat on here. Well, somewhat flat. There we go. We have a mini wreath. This one came from Hobby Lobby as well. I'm pretty sure all these came from Hobby Lobby except for the little... I think these may have been from Joann's. They're tiny little presents, but I think you could get them at Hobby Lobby as well. Look at these peppermint ornaments. Aren't these just the cutest little thing? Here's the last item that we will be putting on the advent calendar box. And we are going to put them down here. I thought the penguins were just such a cute little touch on here. Okay, so at the end of this video, I will flip the camera around and show you all a better close-up on how we display this in our home. The next thing that we are going to be doing is gluing things to the top. So whenever it stands up, it'll have a bunch of things just hanging off of it. Here are the little mousse that we are going to be putting on the top of the box. These came from Hobby Lobby and we are going to put the snowman on there as well and a few presents and some more trees. Okay. 
Okay, and here is a view of the top. We will be adding a few little ornament balls to go down the side. The next thing that we're going to do is add on some numbers. We have 25 of these trees that we are going to be hot gluing to the front. My little boy has been doing number recognition at his school and he is excelling. Um, he's now in the two digits and he has just been having so much fun learning this year. Okay, now we have the numbers glued on here. The next thing I want to do is add on some Christmas balls along the top and maybe along the side. I think I might just hot glue a few of these together and then glue down one of them. So hot glue them together like that and then glue down the bottom that way that it's more of a stacked look. That is going to look so cute. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's let that dry for just a second and we can build up a few more. Okay, let's go ahead and hot glue these to the box. All right, now we're going to add on some hot glue right here. And I wanna put these towards the back. <laughs> Not like that. Let's do it about right there. I know it's a horrible angle. All right, I'm going to put just a little piece of ribbon down here. That way that we can hot glue the sides. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do it yet. I think what I'm going to do is sort of alternate them like that and then hot glue to the right side. So glue those two pieces together like that and we'll wait for this one to dry. There are so many strings of hot glue. I went a little bit crazy with it. So if y'all see some strings, it's not hair, it's just hot glue. All right, let's take a green one and alternate it up that way. And then let's put one of these little disco balls down here. All right, and then we're going to add on another one right here. Let's do a green one. While this one is drying, I want to go ahead and start another one for the other side. And we'll use some of these. All right, so now that we have built up our second one, while this one's drying, let's go ahead and hot glue it to the side. Put a lot of hot glue on there, and then just stick it on there. All right, now this side is dry, let's go ahead and add on this one. And this time, I am going to be a little bit more aware of where I'm putting the hot glue because I didn't on the last one and it got a little bit crazy. 
All right, that looks much better. So this one, I actually want to slide it up a little bit before it dries down. There we go. Okay, so now that we have everything hot glued on there, the last step is to cut all of these little pieces of paper out. And according to our schedule, that is what boxes they will go in. Um, but for the last one, which is open Christmas gifts, we are going to be putting that one in the last one. Okay, so we fold it, put the piece of paper in there, and then they pull it out each day. I'm going to go ahead and cut all these little strips and put them in their boxes. That way that we can go ahead and see what the final result looks like. Some of these are outdoor activities. Um, such as go on a winter hike and so things like that we can do during like winter break or we can do them during um, the weekend and so that is why some of these are specifically for the weekend and for winter break. Alright y'all and here is how it turned out. I think that this is definitely out of my comfort zone because I like more of the simple things, um, but this is just really, really busy. Um, the boys love it. They have already been asking, when can we start? But I think that this is just a great alternative rather than getting them a bunch of little toys or, you know, little things that they're just going to play with once and then it ends up in the trash can. But these are all experiences that they can do during the month of December, such as like go see Santa, make Christmas cards, do Christmas crafts, things like that. And so they are so, so excited. Um, I think that my favorite one is definitely the winter hike. We are going to do a little printable where they can find, you know, certain leaves or things like that. There was one that I saw on Pinterest. I'll definitely try to link it down below, but they are just going to have so much fun this winter. Our winter break is extra long this year. So we have tons and tons of things planned out. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.